Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dan's and Cloud, and this week I want to talk about the new Google Meet features that are all around inclusivity, security, and hybrid working. If you guys are interested in these eight features, uh, then stay tuned. So the first feature that we want to talk about is in-meeting reactions. Although people joke about uh, emojis and people wanting more emojis, that's basically what we're talking about here. If you've ever seen Facebook Live, um, it's, it, we've seen some of the visuals and it will look similar to that. So when someone uh, sees something on a Google Meet that they like, they can click um, a thumbs up or a heart or whatever, and it will come up on the left-hand side uh, of the screen, um, very, very similar to Facebook Live. Uh, who who has you know put forth that emoji, uh, and then it will also come back or come up in their little uh, window box as well, uh, the emotion as well. So it's a way for people to engage, particularly in large meetings. Uh, I think this is very very useful. The next we have is sort of pers what, what Google are calling um, picture in picture in terms of Google Meet, and the and the first one is within Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This feature was mentioned I think um, maybe a few months back and it's gonna be rolling out soon and will allow you to have your video call on the, on the right-hand side and the document that you're working on on the left-hand side all within the same tab. So again, for people that are sort of multitasking, maybe working from home on a small device where they don't have a separate video uh, conferencing or, or even a separate screen to have their video call on, this will allow them to work in a document with their team and see and engage with their team um, in the same place. So really, really interesting feature. And the next one we have around picture in picture is an extension of this. And this feature hasn't been announced yet. And um, this is where you will be able to have or pop out a Google Meet um, into its own little window up to four um, boxes or pictures. And you'll be able to scroll to other tabs or go to other uh, tabs in your, in your Chrome um, browser while still seeing the video call hovering over um, all of the, the, you know, whatever it is you're on, your calendar, your, your Gmail, etc. And so for those multitaskers, again, on the single screen, really, really powerful. And then you can quickly pop that back into full screen mode as well. And as always, Google is trying to get in on our video calls as she loves to do. Thanks, Google. I'm okay. Stop. Okay, so that's picture in picture um, and emotional emoji reactions. Next up, we have noise cancellation. And this is noise cancellation across uh, Google Meet hardware. So Google are rolling out noise cancellation to Google Meet hardware, even if a customer isn't on Enterprise Plus. So this is very, very valuable, again, to just make the meeting quality for everybody um, much, much better for both people, participants from home and in the office. As a follow on from this, we have companion mode. Companion mode was, was um, introduced uh, recently, and this allows participants who are in a video call um, in a room where there's you know, video conferencing, and they wanna join on their tablet or their phone or their laptop and um, answer things like Q&A or polls, because obviously if you're joining in a, in a room that has video conferencing, there may be five or 10 or 20 people in a room, um, but there's only one, um, person on the video call, the, the meeting room on the video call. And so if a question is, is asked, how do all those participants engage? Or if there's a poll, how do, the, how do all those participants engage in the poll? That is what companion mode is for. You're joining without the video um, and audio and you're engaging in the other parts of the video call. What Google have announced now is the option for someone to, to open or start their own self view um, within companion mode. So. This will mean that they can have their own little tile. And again, if you can imagine 20 people in a, in a um, meeting, there's several people who are remote and someone is engaging in the meeting and they're maybe right down the end and the camera's right down the other end. Is it really possible to see people's facial expressions and engage with them properly? Having their own little tile from their own um, laptop will, will allow people to engage with that participant and see that participant's facial expressions and things like that. So a really interesting way of engaging hybrid working and helping people connect and see people even when they're outside of the office. So, that, so for those, you know, those hybrid working, those people working from home who, who maybe aren't in the meeting room. 
Next up, we have client-side encryption, and this allows customers, uh, this is gonna be rolling out in May or June, and this is gonna allow customers to have their own encryption keys to encrypt Google um, Meet meetings. Uh, too, too, many, too many meets there. <laughs> um, at the end of the year, Google are also rolling out end-to-end -end encryption for this. So again, increasing the level of security for both hybrid working uh, and in the office. Next up are some features that are rolling out later in the year, but probably the ones that I am most excited about, uh, if you hadn't guessed already. Um, this is Q&A and polling within streaming. So for those of you that don't know about streaming within Google Meet, in the higher tiers of Enterprise Standard and Enterprise Plus, you can actually stream your Google Meet uh, out to up to 100,000 participants in the highest tier and you can have up to 500 participants in a Google Meet. Now, kind of Google feels beyond 500 participants, really people are just watching. Uh, and so the streaming element means that you can now engage more participants, and uh, this feature's been around for a while, but with the Q&A and polling, you can now ask questions of those participants, and you can um, poll those participants, which you couldn't do before. So that's a really interesting feature that's gonna be rolling out later in the year. And the next one, which I'm super excited about, is the ability to stream your Google Meet video call to YouTube. And I think this is a feature that those of you who have been in the Google ecosystem for a while will remember Hangouts on Air, which allowed you to do this. And it was a very heavily used feature. And when the new Google Meet came out and Hangouts video calling was deprecated, we lost this feature and many people were really, you know, really wanted it back. And so we're excited to see, to, to see this feature coming back uh, to Google Meet. What this will mean is that you could have a video call with up to 500 participants, you could stream the video call out um, with the in-domain streaming if you wanted to 100,000 private participants. And then now you also will have the ability at the end of the year to, 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 to have your Google Meet on YouTube as well. Um, so really, really interesting feature. Really excited to see this drop. And it basically turns Google Meet into a full webinar solution for customers. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. Um, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you are on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, you can follow us on there as well. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys next week. Boom, boom, boom.